You know, when I was working on DHL, I woke up at 3.30 every morning and I had no issues with that. But ever since I became a parent, anything before five is in the middle of the night. <laughs> Plastic, this bed. Oof. <laughs> That is going to be used for, uh, I think, like product shoots and that kind of stuff. Aha. Uh -huh. I, I thought you are going to grow a lobster in there. <laughs> what do you think about the new RC car, by the way? It's a uh, Muffy. Muffy, huh? In Sweden, we say Muffy when it's big, uh, bigger than me. Testing, testing. That coffee brewer is probably one of the loudest ones that I've ever heard. Three, two, one. Lift off. There's been so many things going on lately, and I have been, how do you say? Head deep, kneel steep, knee something, something. Um, djupt ingrottad, as we say in Swedish, into different projects that I'm like in need to finish up before the fall season begins and all that stuff. And I haven't really been feeling um, that I had the time to do the vlogs and that whenever I make the vlogs, it's been, um, been feeling a little bit like I'm working in a counterwind. Can you say it like that? But I've also come to a conclusion, which is very satisfying. And um, me and Tom has actually talked about this on the podcast uh, a whole lot because, you know, ever since I, I would say like spring this year, I've been going very back and forth on where I should put the vlogs. Should I do the vlogs? Why should I do the vlogs? Why should I do this and not that? But the conclusion that I've come to is that I cannot simply keep everything on one channel. And let me explain why. So say for example that you are a company that are selling drones and uh, all of your clients want to see what new kind of drones that you got, what kind of specs the new drones have. And then all of a sudden you decide to start selling coffee machines. You probably will not have that good of a revenue on the coffee machines because your clientele is not interested in the coffee machines. They're not, they want to have the drones, you know, and you try to push the coffee machines onto a clientele that is not interested in that. And that will ultimately kind of ruin your business if you keep doing that. So what you do in the business world is that you realize your mistake and then you take that idea and decide to start a new company. And that is exactly what I've done, but I tend to see my channel as my company. So this channel, my vlog channel, is from now on, and this is going to be final, going to be whenever I feel the need to make these kind of videos, whenever I feel the need to make videos that are not really related to camera reviews, tutorials, or uh, camera oriented videos, that is where it's going to end up here. And I am going to have my other channel as more of a, all the good, <laughs> good videos, if you can say it like that. I mean, like these videos are going to be more personal because I, I want to include my family. I want to include the progress that we're making and, you know, record everyday life that I'm having, then there is going to be like more the polished version of everything that might be related to that niche that I'm in. And I think that that is a very good way of seeing things, because if you do that, then you also realize that this clientele can maybe get an interest for what you're selling over here, or what you're creating over here, but they don't necessarily need to be forced that in their feed because they don't want to. I know that I've been extremely back and forth about this, but I think that the biggest reason of that is because I've seen other creators that are doing the same thing, like keeping everything on one channel, then the success has come from that. But for me, I felt that if I do that, I just get more stressed because then I want every video to perform the same as they do. Meanwhile, here on this channel, I'm just having a conversation with you and just recording whatever I feel that I want to record, not have the pressure of 
every video to perform, even though of course it's fun when a video performs, but that is kind of the future of where everything is going. And uh, I would love to tell you all the projects that I got going on, but I cannot. There will be so many things happening in October and uh, beginning of November on my main channel, but also probably here on this channel as well. I'm super pumped to uh, jump into the fall with you. And I will also say that if you are interested in a YouTube course that I'm going to make, then I'm going to drop a link down below because it's going to drop before Christmas. I, I promise I've already started working on it. It's uh, going to be everything that I know and everything that I've learned on my four years as a YouTuber that I'm going to try to compress into a YouTube course where we cover everything from like title, thumbnail, video structure, how to make your videos more interesting and all that good stuff that you otherwise have to search multiple videos for. So if you sign up right now and buy the course, pre-order it, it's going to cost you $199. And then after that, it's going to be around three, four, nine. So um, that is something you're interested in. Head down below. Another thing that I will do is also drag down the amount of videos that I post onto my main channel so that I can have a cross focus on both of these channels. So I will take more sponsored videos on my main channel and just have fun with this channel because I love you for being here. I can't say that enough. And I'm super grateful for that. Um, just so you know. Thanks so much for watching this video. I don't know if it made any sense, but if it did, do give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, and, nah, can't do the Peter McKinnon one. I, I am, I'm going to say, Peter Devon from Sweden, saying goodbye. Have a good one, wherever you are in the world. <laughs> you see that? I can't believe that that was actually the first take. <laughs> oh, that is too good not to have in the vlog.